Hello guys, welcome to all of you. Today we will study about the most important topic of the coordination chemistry called the crystal field splitting. Okay, so we today we will study about the crystal field theory that is the CFT. Okay, the main assumption of the CFT is that is that the when the metal complex formation takes place. Metal complex when the metal complex formation takes place, the ligand approaches the metal, approaches the metal. As a result, the the ligand electron and the metal d orbital electron and the metal d orbital electron will experience a repulsive interaction. Okay, when the ligands come to the metal. For the formation of the complex, the ligand electron and the metal d electron will experience a repulsive interaction. As a result, the d orbital of the metal is splitted into the two energy levels. Okay, this is called a crystal field splitting. Okay, and in this case, the one point, one point which is more important is that. The ligand and the metal bond, ligand and the metal bond is assumed to be hundred percent ionic. Okay, is assumed to be the hundred percent ionic with no covalent character. Okay, as we know that in the metal ligand bond is the hundred percent ionic, and in this theory the metal is considered as a positive center and the ligand is considered as the point negative charges. Having no volume, and the metal ligand bond is the purely ionic. Okay, and metal ligand bond is purely ionic in nature. Is purely ionic in nature. Okay, so we will study about the crystal field splitting in the octahedral complexes, in the, and in the tetrahedral complexes, and also in the in the square planar complexes. Okay. So we will first start the crystal field splitting in the octahedral complexes. In the octahedral complexes, okay. As we know that, as we know that in the octahedral complex, the octahedral complex is represented as octahedral complex is represented as there are four, there are four. Corners. There are four corners, and one ligand is above the plane, and the second ligand is below the plane. If second ligand is below the plane, okay. And if this is the x-axis, and this is the y-axis, and this is the z-axis, then in the octahedral case, we can see that the ligand approaches the metal. The ligand approaches the metal through the axis, okay, and therefore these ligand in the octahedral complex will experience the greater repulsive interaction with those d orbitals of the metal which lie along the axis, okay. That is when ligand approaches the metal, the Two d orbital, that is the d x square minus y square and d z square orbital of metal experience greater repulsive interaction. As a result, their energy increases and the rest, the energy of rest orbital decreases. Okay, so we can say that in the if this is the energy and in the free metal ion and in the free metal. Free metal ion. The all the d orbitals of the metal have the same energy level, and these five d orbitals are called the degenerate. This is the free metal d orbital. Okay. When the ligand approaches the metal, the energy of these five d orbital increases. The energy of five d orbital increases, and and ultimately. In the formation of octahedral complex, in the formation of octahedral complex, these five d orbitals are splitting into the two energy levels. That is, 
टू ऑर्बिटल्स ऑफ हायर एनर्जी एंड द थ्री ऑर्बिटल्स थ्री ऑर्बिटल्स ऑफ लोअर एनर्जी these two orbitals of higher energy are called the eg orbitals and these three orbitals of lower energy are called the t2g orbitals okay t2g orbitals and this is the uh, hypothetical energy level this is hypothetical energy level is called the berry center okay and the energy separation between these two orbital is represented by delta o okay the splitting of higher energy orbitals is by is 3 by 5 okay and the splitting of this orbital is 2 by 5 if we divide 5 5 if we divide 3 by 5 we found the 0.6 okay so therefore this energy separation will be 0.6 delta 0 okay and if we divide 2 by 5 we found the value point point 4 we found the value point 4 and this value will be in the minus that is the minus 0.4 delta 0 this is the minus 0.4 delta 0 the minus sign here indicates that when the electron comes in the T2g orbital the splitting the stability of the complex increases okay as we know that as we know that delta 0 delta 0 is equal to the 10 dq when we re represent the energy separation in the dq form therefore the delta 0 is equal to the 10 dq okay therefore this will be the 0.6 delta 0 or 6 dq or 6 dq and this is the minus 0.4 delta 0 or 4 dq 4 dq okay and this is the delta 0 or 10 dq 10 dq and the eg orbitals are here are the two that is the dx square minus y square and the d z square while these t t2 g orbitals are the dxy dyz and the zx okay this is the splitting crystal field splitting in the octahedral complex this is the crystal field splitting crystal field splitting in octahedral complex okay octahedral complex as we know that in the octahedral complexes there are two types of complexes are formed one type of complex is called the is called the low spin complex while the other type of complex is called the high spin complex the formation of the low spin and the high spin complex will depend upon the field strength of the ligand that is the strong field ligand will lead to the formation of the low spin complex while the weak field ligand results in the formation of high spin complex and therefore we have the two situation for the octahedral complex that is when the energy separation between the eg and t2g orbital is larger is larger the when this situation takes place this when situation takes place the ligands will surely be the strong field ligand okay and when the energy separation between these two orbital is smaller between these two orbital is smaller is smaller this situation takes place when the ligand is weak field ligand therefore we can say that the ligand which results in the greater splitting of d orbital is called the strong field ligand strong field ligand okay strong field ligand and therefore we can say that in the strong field ligand the energy separation between the these two orbital will be larger okay and if we consider the case of d4 complex we can say that the 
the one the three electron will always be come in the t2g orbital while the fourth electron will have the two possibilities that is the fourth electron will pair in the t2g orbital or it will pair in the e it will be remain unpaired in the eg orbital okay the pairing of these orbital the pairing of this electron will takes place on this energy separation okay as we know that when the energy separation is greater the fourth electron will pair in the t2g orbital and will not jump to the eg orbital because this energy separation is very large okay therefore this in this situation delta 0 delta 0 is greater than the pairing energy p stands for the pairing energy okay the pairing energy what is the pairing energy pairing energy is the energy penalty which the electron have to pair in order to pair okay we can say that in case of the, the uh, strong fielding and the pairing energy is smaller than the delta 0 and therefore the complex form will have the lesser number of unpaired electron and this complex is called the low spin complex this is called the low spin complex okay these low spin complexes we can say that the low spin complexes the low spin octahedral complexes are low spin octahedral complexes are also called the inner orbital complexes inner orbital complexes okay as you know that in the inner orbital complexes the hybridization is d2 sp3 the hybridization is the d2 sp3 and therefore we can conclude that strong field ligand in case of strong field ligand the pairing of electron takes place and in this case the delta zero is greater than the pairing energy and low spin complex formation takes place the low spin complex are also called the inner orbital complexes in which the hybridization is d2 sp3 now we will in case of the weak field ligand in case of the weak field ligand the energy separation between these two orbital between these two orbital will be smaller and in this case in, in this case the fourth electron will not pair in the t2g orbital but remains unpaired in the eg orbital okay in this case the number of unpaired electron are greater and therefore this type of complex in which the number of electron are greater are called the high spin complex okay in this case delta 0 is lesser than the pairing energy lesser than the pairing energy and in in this situation the complex is called the high spin high spin complex okay and the high spin complex are also called outer orbital complex outer orbital complex and we know that in the outer orbital complex the hybridization will be the sp3 d2 the hybridization will be the sp3 d2 this is all about this is about the splitting of the octahedral complex okay therefore uh, in the case of octahedral complex there are two situation the complex will either be the low spin or the high spin complex now we will study about the splitting of splitting of d orbital in the tetrahedral complexes as you know that in the tetrahedral complexes the splitting is just reverse to that of the octahedral complex okay we know that in the tetrahedral complex the tetrahedral complex the ligand approaches the metal approaches the metal through between the axes and therefore the d orbital of the metal which uh, uh, which have the lobes between the axes experience the greater repulsive interaction and as a result the energy of the of these three orbitals which have the lobes bit in between the axes are of the high energy and those orbital which have the lobes along the axis will be of lower energy okay in the tetrahedral case in the tetrahedral case the d orbital the d at the this is the free metals d orbital and all the d orbitals are the degenerate 
In case of tetrahedral complex, first the energy of these orbitals increases. First the energy of these orbitals increases and the tetrahedral cases, the situation is totally reversed. That is, the, there will be the three orbitals of higher energy and there will be the two orbital of lower energy. This, this is called the, this is, these two orbital are called the E orbital, E orbital and these three orbital are called the T2 orbital, okay? And this energy separation is called the delta T, T stands for the delta T. And the hypothetical energy state is called the barycenter, is called the barycenter. These three orbitals are the D, X, Y, D, Y, Z and D, Z, S, Y. These two orbitals are the dx square minus y square and dz square. This energy separation, this energy separation will be 0.4 delta t, 0.4 delta z, and this energy separation will be minus minus 0.6 delta t. Okay, 0.6 delta z, and we know that in case of tetrahedral complex the delta t is the delta t is always lesser than the pairing energy okay therefore it requires the higher energy for the electron to pair up and therefore all the tetrahedral complexes are high spin because the tetrahedral the delta t is lesser than the pairing energy therefore all the tetrahedral complex will be high spin therefore all the tetra Hedral complex will be tetrahedral complex will be high spin will be high spin all the tetrahedral complexes are the high spin complex okay this is about the crystal field splitting of the tetrahedral complexes okay now we will study about the uh, relation between the tetrahedral and octahedral complex. As we know that the delta 0 is greater than the delta t. That is the crystal field splitting in the octahedral complex is greater than the uh, crystal field splitting in the tetrahedral complex. Why the crystal field splitting of octahedral complex is greater than that of the tetrahedral complex? This is the, this is why because in the uh, octahedral case there are 6 ligands while in the tetrahedral case there are only four ligands okay and because the six ligands ex will experience the greater repulsive interaction as a result the d orbital will split will split by a greater extent however the four ligands will experience the lesser repulsive interaction as a result the d orbital will split with the lesser extent and that is why the delta 0 is greater than the delta t okay and we know that and we know that delta 0 and we know that the delta and we know that delta t is equal to 4 by 9 4 by 9 delta 0 4 by 9 delta 0 that is delta t this is equal to the that is this is equal to the 0 0.45 delta t is equal to 0 0.45 delta 0 okay delta t is equal to 0.45 delta 0 okay now we will conclude that if we have to we have to convert the delta t into the delta 0 we will we will multiply the delta t with the 0.45 digit okay that is the t2g orbital splitting is the 0.45 delta t and we when it will be converted into the delta 0 then 0.4 will be multiplied to the 0 0.45 0 0.45 and the digit will come the 0 0.18 delta 0 okay or in in, uh, when it is converted with the DQ, 
this digit will come in the 1.8 dq similarly if this digit will convert into the delta 0 therefore minus 0.6 will be multiplied with the 0.45 which will give the 0.27 delta 0 or 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 2.7 2.7 dq or 2.7 dq this is all about for the splitting of the tetrahedral complexes okay now we will study about the splitting of complexes in the square planar cases okay now we will study about the splitting of complexes in the square planar complexes as we know that in the square planar complexes there are only the four ligands there are only the four ligands and the square planar complex and the formation of square planar complex is considered to be takes place from the octahedral complex okay if we if we if there is a octahedral complex there is a octahedral complex okay this is the octahedral complex this if this is the z axis and this is the x axis and this is the y axis if we remove these two ligands along the z axis okay the two ligand the two bonds along the z axis will be longer the will be longer and therefore the metal complex will form will be called the will be called the tetragonal complex tetragonal complex tetragonal complex and this complex will also be called tetragonally elongated complex elongated complex okay and we will and when we will further remove these two ligands along the z axis the bonds will break and the square planar complex formation takes place this is the square planar complex square planar complex okay as we can see that in the square planar complex the ligand approaches only from x and y axis and therefore the d orbital of the metal which have the x as well as the y character will have the greater repulsive interaction okay as we as we know that the d orbital of the metal having the x as well as the y character will have the greater repulsive character will have the lesser repulsive interaction and therefore the splitting of the splitting of the d orbital in the square planar complex can be represented as this is the d orbitals of the free metal this is the free metal free metal d orbital free metal d orbital in the case of in the case of the complex formation complex formation first the energy of these 5d orbital increases and and in the formation of octahedral complex the 2d orbital there are 2d orbitals of high energy and 3d orbitals of lower energy there are x square minus y square orbital and dz square orbital and this is the dxy dyz and the zx orbital okay the zx orbital and if we remove the two ligands along the z axis the d orbital having the z character will have the lesser repulsive interaction as a result the energy of these orbital will decreases and therefore therefore the therefore the energy of these orbitals will decreases while the energy of x square minus y square orbital increases this is the dz square orbital and this will be the dx square minus y square orbital similarly the similar situation will be here that is there will be the two orbitals dxz dxz and dy 
वाई जेड विल बी ऑफ लोअर एनर्जी डी एक्स जेड एंड डी वाई जेड विल बी ऑफ लोअर एनर्जी वाइल द डी एक्स वाई आर्टल विल बी ऑफ हायर एनर्जी एंड दिस सिचुएशन विल टेक्स प्लेस इन केस ऑफ द टेट्रागोनल कॉम्प्लेक्स ओके इन द केस ऑफ द एंड नाउ वेन द स्क्वायर कॉर्नर कॉम्प्लेक्स टेक्स प्लेस ऑर्बिटल dz square orbital will experience the lesser repulsive interaction as well as the two orbitals that is the dxz and dyz orbital will also have the lesser repulsive interaction as a result the energy of these two orbital decreases why the energy of these two orbital increases that is the dx square dxy and this is the d x square minus y square orbital okay this is the crystal field splitting in the square planar complex and here is the crystal field splitting that is the this is the delta 1 and this is the delta 2 and this is the delta 3 okay generally the delta 1 will be equal to the delta sp okay and we can we know that This orbital, that is the d x square minus y y square orbital, is the anti-bonding molecular orbital. While this, these three orbitals are bonding molecular orbital. Okay. The delta one is equal to the delta s p. Okay. As we know that, as we know that, as we know that, delta s p is equal to the one point three delta. Zero, delta one point three, delta zero, and also we know that delta t is equal to four by four by nine, delta zero. If we uh, put delta zero, this is equal to the nine by four, delta nine by four, delta zero is equal to nine by. For delta t, this will be equal. To, therefore, delta zero is equal to the is equal to the delta zero is equal to the two point two five delta t. Delta zero is equal to the two point two five delta t. If we put this value here, this value here, we found that delta s p this is equal to one point three into two point two five delta T and this will be nine point two and this will be the two point nine two five delta T. That is the delta S P delta S P is almost equal to the three delta T. Okay, this is the relation between the delta S P and delta T. That is delta S P is almost equal to the three delta T. Okay. and um, three delta t okay this is all about for today so please subscribe my channel and ring the bell icon thank you